why do men go through so much pain when they separate with their loved ones? This does not mean that women do not go through pain. They go through pain, they heal, but it's easier for them to move on. It all starts with a woman showing you that she's also interested in a serious relationship. She wants everything that you want. You lower your gut. She convinces you that you are the best partner and she has never met someone like you. She will never break up with you, never disappoint you. When you finally have married the lady, she starts to pull away. You burn out emotionally, mentally, physically because everything is not working out for you. You are in so much pain that you don't want to lose this lady. End up even trying hard to make her feel good so that the same love that she was showing you can still come back. She never genuinely loved me. Why did I not even notice some of these behaviors and characters? It's all gone. Naturally, men love more. Hold up. I'm not confirming that women don't love more. No. A lady and a man, they are created to naturally experience the laws of a parent. A woman loves a man like he is his father. Men are created to naturally love women like their daughters. You will care about them. You will provide for them, protect them. Now that both of us are created to naturally experience the laws of a, a parent and be willing to let it go even when it will cause more pain, when a lady loses a man, she's losing a parent. She will go through pain. She's created naturally to accept the suffering and be willing to let it go. When a man loses a lady, he loses a daughter. And the pain of a daughter is so painful, no one is created to accept the experience and the feeling of losing a daughter. No, and they're not prepared for that. It's more painful with men. When a woman is in love with a man, she has finally made her decision and then it happens that she gets bored in the relationship, gets an idea that maybe this was not my partner. There is a better man outside there. Some women, they concentrate so much on the negativity of a, a man which allows the lady to forget how good the man is. Most men, they always concentrate so much on how good the lady is which allows a man to stay in the relationship much longer it's going to be hard you are going to go through pain but it never stops what's the solution to this don't take dating so seriously check your time be patient learn the lady but don't date for sex don't date for attraction i'm not saying that you're not supposed to date people you are attracted to but that shouldn't be the determinant factor of you marrying that lady it's more of a value system, a behavior. If they will always stick around with you, if they are understanding, they can support you and nurture you, which will also enable you to have the low possibility of you breaking up with the lady. Breakups happen more often because we marry people because we had great sex with them. They are so much attractive. You can be physically attracted to people, but there is no behavioral attraction. There is no aesthetic attraction. So that cannot sustain a relationship. When their behaviors change, their characters change, how they respect you changes, you view them differently, and the love you have for them fades away slowly. We need to understand, how do we really pick women? What do I really value most in my life? What can I compromise when I meet this lady? Can I compromise cheating? No. Then it's a red flag even when I am attracted to her. Can I compromise if we made certain mistakes in our relationship? Yes, I can. What are the specific mistakes can I compromise in the relationship? If she does disrespect me, am I okay with that? Do we need to talk? Is there any other way that we can solve problems apart from breaking up the relationship? How far can I fight for this relationship? I have boundaries. Should I reinforce the boundaries? Yes, I should. That gives you an idea of what kinds of women you can have a relationship with and the relationship can last? Do I value so much about behavior attraction? If I do, then that should be on my list. Aesthetic attraction or romantic attraction or sexual attraction. Do I care about those things on my list? If I do care, they should be on my list. And if this relationship is going to work for us, how can I make it a better relationship? What does she want? 
is she willing to build me up am i willing to build her up it's not easy it's going to be tough picking a woman and trying to study if she marks all your boxes that you value and you can't compromise needs time patience dating and not taking everything seriously being willing to give it a try but not investing so much that you end up making a mistake of sleeping around with every other lady in the name of if she's good in sex then i will pick her human beings do pretend but their pretense eventually fades away because they also get tired especially women they can pretend for years there is a habit that she will have when she's with you a behavior that you will need to learn and understand that she's not pretending these are her genuine characters can you entertain that in your marriage are you willing to compromise that that allows us to prevent building a relationship and ending up breaking up with these women because we realize that it's not how you picture them it's not how you identify them as so much attractive they are so different and so toxic very very abusive human beings be willing to learn from that pick yourself up be strong again but never make the same mistake when people realize your weaknesses they end up using that weakness against you it's going to be hard for men but at the end of the day if you're not willing to sacrifice everything at the moment for the sake of a lady don't do it don't concentrate on how to get better women if they present themselves to you as better women don't rush that is what a relationship is all about you rather lose someone when you haven't fully made a decision making a decision about them then they end up disappointing you in a way that you can never forgive them that is the most heartbreaking way that a man falls down because of a woman they end up realizing that she cheated on you after you've been so good to her she doesn't care about you she doesn't love you and it's a behavior that has been happening every now and then but you are telling and convincing yourself that she will change she's a better lady you know they never change a hoe is still a hoe even when it sheds its skin am i being real yes i am people do make mistakes but people don't repeat the same mistake a mistake stops being a mistake when the behavior repeats itself this is a video to clarify that men go through so much pain and suffering that women when they separate with their loved ones the women they are genuinely attracted to how they handle it we don't know maybe they should tell us in the comment section avoiding that breakup every now and then depends on the man you need to learn from your mistake and be willing to take a step back learn how you end up attracting every toxic woman in your life every abusive woman in your life do you believe that men go through pain and suffering more than women let us know in the comment section have you really watched up to this point if you have then kindly comment down below by saying i am with you and until next time be safe take care and let's have peace